So, I've finished drawing and I can get started with the bowl. So, I've finished drawing and I can get started with the bowl. Yeah, I guess I gotta cut from the sides. guys I'm trying beaver craft tools for the first time and this is really looking good let's see how it works um, in action doing the job yeah definitely sharper than the Timo tools Promotion, right? Just my opinion. Yeah, look at those cuts, so much cleaner. Yeah, long way to go. Yeah, this two hook knives are total garbage. We were craft. It's cutting impressive, really. I repeat myself. I bought this beaver craft tools myself. There's no promotion, but look at this cutting quality. Those hook knives are just, I don't know, they just don't work. I got another pair, I thought, okay, maybe I, you know, somehow damage those doing my spoons or something. No, it just doesn't work. Let's see. I tried to sharpen them. And they still doesn't work. So I do a little sharpening once in a while on this one. So this is the first time I'm using it. Quite impressed. This 
cutting wood sounds are absolutely incomparable to anything this is so satisfying I think for the rough out stage this is pretty neat this is our bowl so we're getting to the next stage this basswood has lots of grain issues it was a disaster I don't know why but just how it is this basswood has grain issues all over I mean in both directions I don't know probably it's just, I can see the grain this way but it has many nuts so really poor quality uh, basswood from Amazon yeah, using this swing or cutting moves absolutely love this sounds of cutting wood Trying to achieve that angle, if you can see. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I have because this little saucer, the bolt saucer. I'm gonna show you here in a second and the reason why okay this is the tool I use mainly to make a bowl the reason why I'm filming at the trunk of my pickup truck is my backyard is just too dangerous to be in right now the wind is falling yes I mean the strong winds like last night this morning so I was waiting to you know let it calm down a little bit but um, I have some branches flying out 100 feet away from uh, my large oak tree and you can see the camera is shaking too because of the wind so um, thanks guys for watching and I'm going to be showing what I made with a you know closer look at it and uh, you guys have to choose you know if I'm good at Whitling or not, this is my next upgrade and step, level up. So, here it is. This is my little saucer I made. And it really looks like a little boat, so. This is the front, this is the rear. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It took me let me see if I can hold this camera still. It took me around, uh, I'd say six to eight hours to do it. And it was a really pleasure, hard work, but uh, really pleasure to make it. Thanks again for watching. And here you go. I hope you guys can see it. This is my little boat saucer I made and it's really nice looking like a little boat I made. This is the rear, I made it wider, this is the front and uh, I may be making some sails for it just for the decoration but I'm gonna be using it so this is it.
my little boat over here takes place next to my collection over here so there is one boat on the left and there is another one over here uh, I'll probably use it as a saucer in my videos but it came out real good I used olive oil uh, because I'm gonna be using it for the food or sauces uh, so I didn't want to use uh, linseed oil 